You can do one week without seeing anyone, but you can't do two, three or more minutes without breathing. So watch out for the transition. Wherever you are, you probably have more time than you think you do. During these transitions, you can enjoy and you can use this time for yourself. You know, whether in the car, in the buses, in the train, you know now how to breathe and to take care of yourself. With all the tools that we've checked during these five days, and there are many, you know, we've seen many exercises to tackle stress before the, a stressful event, during a stressful event, or after a stressful event. Find new resources, right? To share, to engage, to be with colleagues in all parts of the world. It's a moment to, uh, to see and think about how we cope with pressure, physical pressure, spiritual pressure. So we hope with this passport of resilience, we can you know, build our capacity, physical capacity, but also build this inner peace that we all need. You know, we need to find it, to maintain it with friends and colleagues and, you know, nourish this special place we have. The first one is that they teach you how to relax by yourself. And the second one is that humanitarians don't always have access or the resources to, to these kind of prof this kind of professional service. And uh, finally, it was very interesting to be in a Zen environment with other people, exchange and relaxation, and not only talk about work. In this program, I was being able to understand that um, there are some certain skills that can be able to make you calm in your inner self. And that skills are, are very essential before you go into a negotiation session. I invite you to follow the program. You can use it for coming across your difficulties and uh, the challenging world you humanitarian are facing today. Breathe well, live well. <laughs>